Hello everyone, this is Miriam. You're going to travel with me through memory lane, through folk holes with a core places I've lived and places that I, I've visited over my entire life. Let me pack my bags. We're going now everyone. Goodbye. Hey Miriam, we ready to do a show today? I don't want to. Well, we got to. We got to make the recordings go. It's 11.33 a.m. It's early enough in the day that, that most businesses haven't had the uh, the midday rush yet, you know? Oh, I don't know. I, where am I going today? I don't know. Where, where do you want to go? I don't want to go anywhere. Well, we got to go somewhere, Miriam. Let's go to Ohio this week, okay? Oh, there's nothing there. No, no, no. I, I found a travel guide for it. There's definitely stuff there. There's definitely um something there. It's just it's uh it's very flat. There's really um, but apparently that there's actually things going on in Ohio. I I, I assumed there was nothing, cause. It's one of the flyover states for the most part. Yes. I, I flew over it in my plane. I, there was nothing for me to crash land onto. Miriam, you don't crash land the plane. Yes, I'm looking at the travel guide right now. They have a, a lighthouse. Yes. Covered bridges. Yes. And churches. Churches everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere has churches in America, Miriam. Most of the people that came here were, were trying to, you know, get away from religious persecution. This show was brought to you today by Tiger I4C, Gordo, Crispy 808, Santa Fet, Robert Tubois. Default hearing and HMM. Thank you very much to all of our patrons at patreon.com. Uh, yes, at patreon.com forward slash AKSPA. Uh, you can listen to our show at travelswithmiriam.com as well as on iTunes, uh, uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Uh, uh, and oh, a tune in the radio. Yes, yes. All right, on with the show. That's my moisture, dear. Yeah, yeah, we all know about your moisture problem. Good God. Yes. The doctor says no diapers. I'll have to just let it out. I'm sure that's what the doctor said. What's the doctor's name? A doctor, Tabor. Yeah. Okay, and where does he reside? Uh, it's from the NHS. Yes. They, 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 they reported him to me. He, he knows all about the moisture, all about the mesh, and all about the problems I've had with my fanny. Okay, that sounds legitimate. Wait, isn't he a Patreon? No. Uh, are you sure you're not just getting medical help from... Patrons of the show. Yeah, no, that'd be silly, now, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be silly, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's move on. Uh, Seneca Caverns. The caviest cave in the USA. It's one of the most unique underground natural wonders in Ohio in the U.S. Discovered in 1872 and opened to the public for tours by the Bell family in 1933. Seneca Caverns was officially designated as a registered national landmark in 1997. Oh, that's a year. Uh, Princess Diana, she, she got hers. Yes. Miriam, let's not talk about you and that whole incident, okay? Yes. The one hour guided tour includes walking and climbing natural stone steps and pathways. The tour will go as far as the underground river which is the water table. The lowest level on tour can be to a depth of 110 feet, where the visitor can view crystal clear 
all mystery river along the way the visitor will also see fossils, historic inscriptions and soda straw stalactite formations. Hey, this is very boring. I know. Let's just call him and you can ask about things. Things that make us go. Yes. What am I doing again? Just call the number, Miriam. You have the phone. I'll just... I'll talk. You have the controls. Yeah, I'm lazy. But you have to... Just put a number in there. Yeah, maybe. Are you thinking the call now, dear? Yeah. Good afternoon, Seneca Caverns. Yes, hello there, dear. Uh, I'm wondering about your attraction there. Uh, uh, when are the tours? Yeah. What about the tours? When do they happen? They're on Saturdays and Sundays right now. Um, the last day we're open this season is Sunday, October the 13th. All right. If I come over there today, what what can I see? If you come over today? Yes. We're not open. Uh, we're not open during the week now. We're just open on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Well, that's, that's a problem now, dear, because I was headed over there with my senior group here. We were all heading over. We were planning on taking a trip down into the depths. What, what are we to do now? I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time understanding you and hearing you. You're on a trip. Yes. And what yes, are you asking me? There's 20 of us. We were coming over today. We thought you were open. We wanted to go down into the depths of the, of the caverns. But if they're closed, then what are we going to do? Oh, well, have you? did you go to the Sorrowful Mother Shrine? Yeah. Would that what be should, something you might be interested in doing? I should have to. Is there a lot of walking? There's, uh, there's some, but uh, are you on a bus? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Well, they had they handle bus tours, but you can can everybody walk, or do you have people that can't walk? Oh, we can all walk. It's just we're old. Yes. Um, they have the uh, gift shop that you could. Um, it wouldn't be very far from where you unload the bus. Um, All right. Yes. I would suggest you give them a call though before you head that way. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't be open, but um, so I can give you a phone number if you have a way yes, to write it yes. down. Yes. Yes. Okay. Please, yes. Okay. Let's see here. Give me a second. I'm looking in the phone book. Powerful. Okay, so their phone number is area code 419. All right. 45. All right. All right. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Yes. All righty. Bye now. Goodbye. Just not feeling it today, Miriam. Uh, I got to get these calls done, you know? Otherwise, the show, it'll be a flop from the very start. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, this is Kelsey. Can I help you? Yes, hello. I'd like to find out some information about your, your wildlife park. Okay. Yes. Do I have to drive the car through or do I walk through? Um, the dry, the, our park is two parts, a drive through safari where you drive your vehicle through the park. And then a second portion of the park is our walk through safari where you, um, it's more like a traditional zoo where you walk through, um, and look at the animals. Right. I don't have a car. Can I please walk through the drive through portion? Unfortunately, um, you cannot walk through the drive through portion. That portion of the park is only drive through. There is not a walking path. It wouldn't be safe for you. What if it wouldn't be safe? What, what have you got there? Um, we have large animals like bison and elk and um, and giraffe and zebra and animals like that that you, you have to drive your vehicle through. What, uh, what gets my hands on, on the giraffe member? Yes. Have you ever seen a giraffe? Um, you can you can feed the giraffe as you drive your vehicle through. Yes. Do you have them breed? I want to see them breeding. I've never seen a, a giraffe breed. Um, we we do not. Um, we our giraffe are boys. We do not have female giraffe. Oh, well, perhaps I could see the 
Thank you, come out, yes. I want to see it. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Do you have additional questions? Yes. Uh, do, do the men giraffes, uh, do they manipulate themselves? Yes. Hello? Hello? There's a valid question there. I, I want to learn more about how do the giraffes, how they make more? How dare? Miriam, those are not valid questions. It's pretty disgusting, actually. I want to see the middle giggle. God, it'll be a long day, isn't it? Yes. Good morning. At Ottoman Center, how can I help? Yes, hello. I'm looking to, to come to your, your center. I want to know what, what you have to, to look at. To, uh, what there is to do around there? Okay, uh, well, we have a nature center and uh, hiking trails. And we also have a farm that has animals. Um, of what animals? Uh, farm animals. <laughs> Horses, cows, sheep, ducks, goats, oh, yes. pigs. Do, do you pet the animals? Pardon? Just do you pet the animals? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're not. It's not a petting zoo, but if they're if they're close by, yeah, you could. Oh yes, that's good. Yes. Very Yes, yes, you've read my name. I see. I hear you. Yes. yes. My name is Miriam Jones. I'm 84. I'm traveling here with a group of, of young people at heart. And we just want to see the animals. Okay. Well, we hope to see you here then. Yes. And when are you open there? Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. What was the question? Yes. When are you open? Oh, we're open till 5 o'clock every day. What else is there to see? Well, the farm animals, and we we have uh, at the nature center. There's um, bird watching room. We have reptiles and snakes and turtles, and and we have hiking trails. Yes, hiking trails. Yes. Uh, I'm eighty four, but I'm here with with a couple of younger people. Uh, would it be all right if we take our walkers up the hiking trails? Yes, and we oh, do. We, yeah, we and we do have an admissions charge. It's ten dollars for adults and seven dollars for children. Oh, God, yes. uh, some of us are are children at heart. Yeah, that's right. Good for you. <laughs> but yes. yeah, and some of the trails are paved. Yes, some of us are are children in our in our heads too. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you have a loo? Yes. All right. Yes. A lot of us have colostomies. And we have to empty them out every, every couple of miles, you see. Otherwise, it gets quite sticky on the bus ride. Okay, yeah, I understand that too. Yes. Oh, God. All right, well, we'll, we'll be there around closing time, probably. Uh, well, Cl closing time? Yes, yes, that's the best time to come. Yes. Yeah, which would be, yeah, we close at five. All right. All right. We'll be there at 4.50. Okay. We'll be there for five hours. Yes. All righty. Yes. Yes. We'll be a detriment to... Your entire organization. Yes. Oh, All right. Uh, please, can I fly my plane there? I'm sorry? Yes. Do you have a place to land my plane? No, we don't. <laughs> All right. I'll find a place to land then and we'll all come in and. Uh, uh, scare off all the children. Well, I have. I have. Okay. Well, I have. I have to go. Oh, I gotta get some right. other people standing here. Goodbye, dear. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Let's, we'll hope to see you soon, then. Right. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>
Oh, Miriam. Why do you have to talk about the colostomy bags needing to be dumped? What a spare tailbone, I suppose. Uh, okay. Miriam, we need to find out what type of meats we can get at this restaurant. It's in your home country. Oh, yes. Hello, Chuck with Holmes. Hello there, dear. Uh, my grandson says he has some of the best meats at your, at your restaurant. You want to book a table? Uh, perhaps. Uh, I want a little bit more information about what what sort of foods you have there, dear. Um, are you, have you got the internet at home? Uh, no, I don't. Um, we've got a variety of stuff. It's, we've got like um, fish and chips and gammon and steaks and um, we've got a steak and ale pie. Um, we've got some pork and lamb dishes, some salads. What about things on the, the menu? The menu you don't you don't advertise. Sorry. Yes. Do you have panda? Yeah, all the menus are online. Yes, I don't have the internet here. Um, are you close to us? Oh, I'll be, I'll be travelling very soon. I'm here in the US for the moment, but I'm coming back to my home country of England and I want to do a road, a road trip. So right. I want to plan ahead. I'm planning ahead to, to come see you. Can you get to us any time this week? Oh, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's at least two months away. Um, yeah, we've, we've got those sort of, we've got like a variety on the menu, really. Oh, do you have rhino meat? Sorry? Rhino. Rhinoceros meat. If I take, do we take down your details and I'll get someone to call you? All right, yes. Let me see here. Best way to reach me. Oh, let's see. Oh, dear. Yes, all right, yes. My name is Miriam Jones. It's what, sorry? Miriam Jones. And what's your phone number? This is in the US, so you have to... Excuse me, I don't know what the country code is, but my number here is... Three one nine three two zero. Start again. So it's oh seven. Yes. yes. Three one nine. So st start from the beginning for me. Yes, I have, dear. So it's oh seven. Oh seven. Three one nine. Yeah. Three two zero one zero. Eight, one. So it's O seven three one nine three two zero one zero eight one. Yes, that's it, dear. That's it. Okay, we'll get someone to give you a call. All right. But I, you haven't got any any exotic African beasts there, have you? Are you are you looking to book a table or? Eventually, yes, but I just want to know if you, if you carry exotic meats. Right, could you give us a call back at um, six o'clock? All right, yes. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, I can do that, dear. Okay, thank you. We'll talk to you at six o'clock. All right. Okay, that thank you. Good. All right, goodbye. Bye. Okay, Miriam, we're going to find out if they have exotic meats, and um, they might just call you back. That's fine. Yeah, look at my answering machine. The bot, the robot. Yeah. Hello, this is the Steelworks. I'm sorry? The Steel Earthworks. Yes, it is. Yes. I would like to come there with a group of elderly uh, citizens. We're planning a trip uh, sometime in the next two months or so. Will you be open then? Will we be open when? I'm sorry. Uh, two months from now, November. The Still Earthworks is open every day of the, the week and every day of the year. Oh, good. Oh. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, what is there to do there? I'm sorry? Uh, what is there to do? I can barely hear you. Uh, 
Okay. What can we do there? You can hike there. There's a hiking trail. It's about three miles. All right. Are the bathrooms along the way? There is not. It's just one big uh, loop, and there's there's no bathrooms or um, benches. All right. Okay. Can we can we camp there? Can you come today? Yeah, I know. Is that too far away to come today? Okay. And my husband, he's not around to, to make that happen. Yes, God, yeah. yeah, the steel earthworks and the the trail head is at the Junction Earthworks site. So it's right off of Pileys Lane, and you can find more information on that on our website. Oh, I don't have the internet there. How do you get there? No, no, I, I don't have the internet. You don't have the internet? No, no. I'm much okay. too old to learn it. It is, uh, it's located in Chillicothe, so um, if once you get to Junction Earthworks and the trailhead there, um, there'll be information on Still Earthworks right there. All right. Can I land my plane there? I'm sorry? Yes. I'm flying a plane. Can I, can I land it there? Can you have the what? Can I land my plane, my aeroplane, uh, somewhere there? I am not sure about that. I, there's nowhere nearby that you could do that. Okay. Is there a tall building somewhere that has a... A helipad, perhaps. I'm not sure. All right. We'll find a way around it. Yes. All right. Well, I think I've taken up enough of your time. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. Let me, let us know if you have any other questions. All right. Goodbye. All right. Thank you. Bye. Hello, Tip Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm calling about here. There are many options there. Uh, they told me to call back. Oh, give me two seconds. All right. Hello? Yes, hello. Hi, can I help? Yes. I was wondering about what, what sorts of meats you have there. I'm sorry? The Mint. line's really... The line's really quiet. Oh, I can barely hear you on my end. Yes. Yeah, I can uh, hear you a bit better now. Yes, you have a rhinoceros meat. Do we have a rhinoceros meat? I'm sorry, I'm really struggling to understand you. All right. Do you have panda bear meat? Hello? 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 Yes. I'm sorry, if on my side it sounds like you're inside of an airplane. It does. Yeah, it does for me as well. Do you want to put the phone down and call back, see if that'll help? Yes, let me try that. Okay. Alright. Hello, check with on. Yes, I'm calling back. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hiya. Yes. Yeah, I can hear you a bit better. Oh, good. Yes. I was wondering about what meats you had in the restaurant. About the menu. Oh. Can you hear me, dear? Hello? Yes, I noticed that as well. Hello? The, the computers are doing strange things Hello? today. Hello? Oh, yeah, you totally went there. Can you, you totally hear went. me, dear? You, you wondering about the menu in the restaurant? The mobile. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. I've been having trouble all day trying you to get in touch with on family. Are you on a landline or to make mobile? Plans to go overseas. The mobile. Yes. Anyhow, 
What meat do you have here, dear? I was told you have African meat. Yes. Oh dear. All right. I'll, I'll try calling you another day then. Hello, are you still there? Perhaps the phone is just broken. Yes. Hey, you just keep going on and off. All right, dear. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, bye. Good afternoon, or good morning, to Muster Lake Lobby. Yes, hello. Is this where the trunk stations are? What now? Yes, I'd like to learn more about the natives. This is the museum. Yes. Well, what can you tell me about the natives? Tell you about the what? Yes, the natives, dear. I don't think so. Well, what do you mean you don't think so? We we have the exhibit, our, our oral history, then we have the restaurant and the store. Oh, yes. Oh, he's drunk, dear. What now? Have you been drinking, dear? No. Oh, yes. What can you tell me about your exhibits? Uh, do you want to visit? Yes. Okay, we're open from... Ten to five. All right, yes. Of what? What can? What can I see there? I can barely hear you. Oh dear. What can I see there? Hello. Are you? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. What can I see there, dear? Hold on. All right. Are you still there? Yes. How can I help you? Yes. I just wanted to know what exhibits you have there, dear. You would have to come here and see. Yes, yes, I do, but... Can you give me a rough estimate? Tell me what... What there is to see? Thank you. Right through those two doors there, all the way down the hallway, rock face wall, counterclockwise. I'm having a hard time understanding you. Is the chief there? Chief. What do you need to know? Is the chief there? No, this is the museum. I have furs to trade. Hold on. Yes. Good, af- good morning to Muscle Lake Store. Uh, yes. Do you have furs to trade? I'm sorry, what was that? The furs. I have furs here from England to trade with the tribe. Yes, we don't do that. We we sometimes buy artists work, but right now we're toward the end of the year, so we haven't been. Artists? No, no, no. no. I, I'm a settler here. I come from England. I, I have furs to trade with a local chief. Okay, this is the this is the Cultural Institute. Yes. Everyone seems to be drunk over there. Have you gotten into the fire water? I think you have the wrong number. Uh, all right then, dear. Sorry. Yes, you're all drunk. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Yes. yes. We're calling Bob Evans and Ryan Graham. This is Brooke speaking. Will this be for carry out? Uh, I was wondering about the farm. I'm sorry? The farm. The homestead. Oh, 
They said a different number for that. The house does. No, no. Homestead. Museum. A homestead? Yes. Is that what you want to order? No, 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 no. Uh, this is supposed to be the, a Bob Evans restaurant at the farm. This is, it is Bob Evans restaurant in Rio Grande. Yes, that's, that's right. I, I supposed to be a farm and homestead museum. You need the number to the farm? I suppose, yes. Okay, um, let me know when you're ready and I'll give you that number. Let me see here. A piece of paper. Yes, yes. I'll go ahead, dear. Okay, it's 740. Yes. All right. 245 yes. 5305. Hi, All right. Oh, thank you, dear. Okay, and that's the number to the farm, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, dear. And this is Miriam. Hi, this is Gail from the Bob Evans Farm. Sorry, I could barely hear you there. This is Gail from the Bob Evans Farm. Oh, good. Yes, yes. How can I help you? Yes, yes, yes. Can I help you with something? Someone did call last week about the same thing. Was that you? I'm sorry, I, I can't understand what you said. It is funny that you should call because my third eldest, Larissa, she was talking about this last week. I you know, she's very smart. I'll give her that. She was the first in the family to go to university and passed with distinctions. You know, we're all quite proud of her. Yes, yes. So she was saying that I should look into this sort of thing. So what more? Can you tell me about it? Are you are you talking about the farm? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch you there. Are, what are was you, that again? Are you talking about the Bob Evans farm? Sorry, again. Are you talking about the Bob Evans farm? Could you say that again, please? Are you referring to the Bob Evans farm? Are you wanting information on the farm? Well, you know, here's the thing. The last time someone called up and spoke to me on the phone, I got in quite a bit of trouble because I went for something I shouldn't have. Okay. Because, well, the oldest, Rachel, she, uh, she wouldn't speak to me for a week. Now, that happens, but that really hurts. And sometimes in family, you know, these things are quite important, you know. They're more important than any phone call or whatever it is. I, I couldn't understand everything that you said. I just didn't know how I could help you today. Well, you know, since you put it that way, you've been quite friendly and cheerful with me. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Sorry, I have a bit of a problem with this phone in my moist knickers. And the hearing is not so good. Yes, uh, what were you saying again? I was asking you what you needed to know about the Bob Evans farm. Well, with the world finances as they are, uh, we aren't able to spend quite as much as we used to. Uh, how how is this going to work? I'm sorry. I I think maybe that you you called well, me wrong. Well, that does I, sound I, good. I, yes, I it's think... a very patient with an old maid like me. It's something I've been told I should be looking at. My first eldest, Larissa. I believe I've mentioned her before. Yes, yes. Yeah, she uh, she said I should be going for something like this. Okay, I, I'm thinking that you might that have called the wrong number. Time. Could you hold on a moment? Just a second here. Get out of here, Tampers. Get out of here, because... Sorry, sorry about that. What were you saying again? I, I just, I think maybe that you called the wrong number. I, I don't think I can help you. I, I work at the Bob Evans farm, um, and this was, I had a message to call you back, but I think maybe you might have called the wrong number. Oh, good. Yes, yes. 
I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, dear. Which company did you say you were calling from again? Uh, the Bob Evans Farm in Rio Grande, Ohio. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll let you go. I'll let you get off the phone. I, I think maybe you must have just called the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't quite catch you there. What I, was that again? I, I think you must have called the wrong number. Sorry. Okay. And I think you must have called the wrong number. Could you say that again, please? I think you called the wrong number, and I don't think I can help you. Well, you know, here's the thing. The last time someone called up and spoke to me on the phone, I got in quite a bit of trouble because I went for something I shouldn't have. Because, well, the oldest Rachel, she, uh, she wouldn't speak to me for a week. Now, that happens, but... That really hurts. And sometimes in family, you know, these things are quite important, you know. They're more important than any phone call or whatever it is. Well, I I hope everything gets okay, and I'm going to let you go now, okay? I will um, let you make your phone call. <laughs> well, you know, since you put it that way, you've been quite friendly and <laughs> careful with me. Okay. Hello. All right. Hello, are you there? You have a good day. Sorry, I have a bit of a problem with this phone in my moist knickers. Let me hear you, it's not so good. Good morning, the museum at Warm Springs. This is Debbie. How may I help you? Yes, hello. I'm planning a trip to Oregon very soon, and I'm wondering more about the museum. Oh, okay. What can I see there? Um, We have... It takes about an hour and a half to visit to go through the exhibits and you'll see first a video about the history of um, the reservation and the people and then you'll go through and see exhibits um, artifacts that tells about different parts of our history um, ceremonies like there'll be a life-size wedding scene um, from one of the tribes. You'll see our um, economic history, our um, other ceremonies that we have, songs of history. Then we have a changing arts gallery, and right now we have an exhibit on um, boarding schools. When, All right. Yeah, when will you be in this area? Oh, it'll be about two months from now. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. I, I doubt I understand it. As a native people of America, they, they, they did something, uh, they did scalping, yes? That's how I want to go out. Is anyone there to do scalping today? Just to do scouting? Uh, no, no. Scalping. Removal of the scalp. That's how I want to go out. Where are you calling from? Oh, I live in Iowa right now, but I'm originally from the United Kingdom. Uh-huh. Yes. I, I grew up there and I moved there because my, my grandson lives in the States. But he doesn't know I'm making this call, but I really, really wanted to go out uh, by the way of natives, uh, t- taking my scalp. Yes. Is that possible at all, dear? Perhaps I could be added to your museum. Yes. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Yes. I, I want to go out of this world uh, by way of being scalped. Perhaps you could add my scalp to, to your museum. Yes. To bring one here? No, no. I'll, I'll bring myself in, and what if you, what if the natives could take my my scalp as a prize? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that wouldn't. That's how I want to go out there. Yeah, I don't 
that don't think that's possible. I'm pretty sure that's not possible. Uh, what, what can you do for me, dear? Um, can you just hold one moment? All right. Thank you for holding. Okay, yeah, we. there's no way that we can help you with that. I am sorry. All right. All why, right. Well, what, what, why would you want to do that, I'm wondering? Oh, it's what I wanted to do. That cleared my life, yes. That's how I want to go out. And <gasps> kicking and screaming and, you know, giving back to, to those that, that who were massacred by... Uh, the sentence of my own people, you know, also English, with, 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 a, with a cause of all the troubles here. So, I wanted to give back in some way, some way really meaningful. I assume, well, if I offer up my head, perhaps uh, they'll take it and everything will be a bit, a bit better between the natives and, and the intruders. Yes, yes. Well, thank you for checking into the matter for me, dear. I well, do appreciate I, that. I want you to take care of yourself, and um, I will pray for you. Oh, that's all right, dear. I'm already destined for hell. Oh, yes, yes. I, when the war was going on, they put me in front of the radios, and I sent many young men off to the death. I didn't know how to read the, the instructions. They didn't train us. I, I already know I'm, I'm headed for the great beyond. Deep down in the, in the depths of hell. Yes. So, it's quite all right. You just start me to pray for me, dear. Okay, well, my, my heart's a little sad for you. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about me, dear. I, I just wanted to give back. Yeah. Do you know any, anywhere else perhaps I could go where my, my needs will be met? You know, I, I, I really don't think any place that you call will be able to help you with with this. Oh, all right. Well, I'll have to probably rethink this this idea of mine and come up with a, a better idea, a better plan. Yes. All right, well, Thank you, dear. You've been most helpful to me today. Okay. All right. I okay. have a good day. Don't, don't think about little old me. I'm, I'm a little crazy, perhaps, in my ideas. All right. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. And this is this Miriam? Hi, who is this? Sorry, I can barely hear you there. Oh, okay. I was just um, talking to you a few minutes ago, and I'm just checking to make sure you're okay. Oh, good. good. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So you think you'll be okay? Someone did call last week about the same thing. Was that you? Oh, you called me at the museum here in Warm Springs a few minutes ago. It is funny that you should call because my third eldest, Larissa, she was talking about this last week. I don't know, she's very smart. I'll give her that. She was the first in the family to go to university and pass with distinctions. You know, we're all quite proud of her. Yes, yes. So uh-huh. she was saying that I should look into this sort of thing. So uh-huh. what more? Can you tell me about it? Oh, well, I was just, um, with our discussion earlier today, just kind of concerned about you, so I wanted to make sure you're okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch you there. What was that again? Oh, you called me earlier today, and I was just worried about you, so I wanted to make sure you're okay. Sorry, again. Oh, you called me earlier today, and I was concerned about you. I wanted to make sure you're okay. Could you say that again, please? You can't hear me? Well, you know, here's the thing. The last time someone called up and spoke to me on the phone, I got in quite a bit of trouble because I went for something I shouldn't have. Because, well, the oldest, Rachel, she uh, she wouldn't speak to me for a week. Now, that happens 
but that really hurt. And sometimes in family, you know, these things are quite important, you know. They're mm-hmm. more important than any phone call or whatever it is. Okay, well, I was just checking on you. You take care, okay? Well, you know, since you put it that way, you've been quite friendly and cheerful with me. Hello? Hi. Hello? Are you there? Yes. Sorry, I have a bit of a problem with this phone and my moist knickers. And my hearing is not so good. Yes, uh, what were you saying again? Oh, I just wanted to um, say hello and um, see how you're doing. Well, with the world finances as they are, uh, we aren't able to spend quite as much as we used to. But how, how is this going to work? What's that? Well, that does sound good, yes. You seem very patient with an old maid like me. It's something I've been told I should be looking at. My third eldest, Larissa, I believe I've mentioned her before. Yes, yes. She, uh, she said I should be going for something like this. It's something that is most appropriate for the time. Could you hold on a moment? Just a second here. Okay. Get out of here, Sorry, sorry about that. What were you saying again? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to say hello. You take care of yourself, okay? Oh, good. Yes, yes. Okay, goodbye. Oh, sorry, dear. Which company did you say you were calling from again? From Oregon. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Bye now. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch you there. What was oh. that again? Bye bye. Sorry. Okay, again. Watermill Winery and Blue Mountain Cider, how may I help you? Yes, hello. Oh, I'd like to find out more about your winery. Um, like what? Oh, well, what do you do there when are you open? What is there to do when I get there? Um, one second. Let me go ahead and put you on hold. All right. Oh, it's Tristan. What can I do for you? Yes, hello. Oh, I'm just wondering about your winery. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm planning a trip to Oregon, and uh, I'm looking for places to go, things to see. Sure, sure. Yeah, well, what, what are you interested in knowing? Uh, what do you do there? Sure. So, are you interested in the, the wines we produce, or...? What is there to do when I get there? Well, at our at our winery, we have a wine tasting room here. Um, so, we have, you know, a variety of wines that are available to try, and we also have our uh, um, hard cider company, Blue Mountain Cider, is uh, associated with us on the same property, and they have some, some cider and stuff that's available over there as well. Oh. Can I bathe in the cider? Hmm? What was that? Can I bathe in the cider? <laughs> no, obviously not. Well, what do you mean, obviously? In England, we, we bathe in our cider. It gives it that fresh English flavor. What happened? Hello? I'm a winery with a mountain cider. How can I help you? Yes, hello. Uh, someone really hung up on me. I was oh. asking questions. Okay. Hello. What kind of question did you have? Or? I was about to say that. I, I want to know if, if, you can, if you can drink it and bathe in it. I, I don't see a problem with that. If you can do what? Uh, here in England, uh, uh, where I'm from, dear. What? Uh, 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 hello? Hello? Uh, what's going on? Well, I like tramway. Hello, dear. I was watering about your tramway, but uh, when you're open and exactly where it goes. Okay, I can't hear you very well, but I think you asked when we're open. We open 
This morning we'll be open at 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. and the same Saturday, Sunday. All right. Uh, how far up does this tramway go? How far? It's a 13-minute ride, 2,000 vertical feet, and about two miles long. All right. Has anyone ever fallen out? Pardon me? Has anyone ever fallen out? No. <laughs> Oh. You're in a cabin. Be the first. You're locked yes. in a cabin. You're fine. Oh, okay. Can I get out? Yep. Can I get out? I can't hear you. What? I want to get out of it. How do you get out of it? They let you out. Our attendants take care of it. Oh. Uh, what if I encounter incapacity? The attendant. Pardon me? I, I have a cane all. with me. I have a cane. Well, that's okay. They'll help you. Yes. I want okay. to get out of it. That's the height. Yeah. I want to, I want to okay. land on the mountain itself. Okay. We don't have rides on the mountain itself, just from here to the top. Right, to the top. At uh -huh. the top, I want to get out. Before the attendant left yeah, me. Yeah, we have a restaurant up there. Oh, yes. Okay. Can I, can I get out of it halfway yes. through? No, not halfway. you got to go the whole way. I want to get out of it the halfway mark. No, you cannot. There's no ramp. But there's no way to uh, exit the tramway between the bottom and the top. You have to go all the way to the top. I don't want a ramp. I want to... I jump to my, to my demise. You can't get out of the tramway until it it comes to the station at the top. I'll find a way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. All bye right. Bye. You're okay. My suicide. Thank you, yep. dear. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank you for calling the Wildlife Safari. If you need immediate assistance, please dial 200 now or stay on the line for additional park information. Thank you for calling the Wildlife Safari. The Safari drive through and Village are home to over 90 species and approximately 500 wild and exotic animals. Park hours are 9 to 5 daily in the spring and summer, 10 to 4 in the winter. We are closed Thanksgiving and Christmas. Please visit our website or call for admission prizes or That's other park information. Be sure to visit our always free village, home of our ambassador, Cheetahs. Dial zero for park information. Dial 200 for guest services supervisor or 210 for guest services. Have a great day and hope to see you on the wild side. Please hold while I try that extension. Wildlife Safari, this is Amber speaking. How may I help you? Yes, hello there, dear. I'm planning a trip soon and I'm wondering more about you. Safari. Alrighty. Um, so you do it in your own vehicle. Um, they're pretty much your captive and they are free. Uh, the drive takes roughly an hour and a half to go through. Um, your tickets are good through two times through. We also have a village that has a restaurant, petting zoo. We have a gift shop train rides um, while the weather's still good, and we have camel rides on the weekends. Oh, all right. Hey, oh, sorry. Can I feed the animals? Um, so we do have encounters um, that are for that. So we have a giraffe feed that we do every day at 1 p.m. Oh, yes. And then in the drive through we have uh, feed me cups. They're only for a certain area of the drive through and you're able to feed um, emu, rhea, nilgai, four different types of deer, Canadian geese, and yak. And um, yes. But those are our feeding. Can I feed myself to the animals? Sadly, no. Uh, I'm trying to find a, a natural way to go out. I, I'll be here with... What do you say, my friends? And we all want to have, we want to have a beautiful ceremony, and when the animals uh, eat us, yes. Hello. Well, Sally, we don't have 
any kind of uh, offers for that. Huh. Can we make it an offer? Go ahead and claim Peter 3 real quick. And we will try Sorry, I didn't catch that last part. Yes. If we offer up all of our savings, we donate it to the park. Would that be all right? And then we take our last drive through. We offer ourselves up to the animals as a peace offering. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time understanding you. I see. I want to drive through with all my friends. We'll take a, a long drive through, and then at the end, we open the doors to our vehicle. We, we go out and we let the animals eat us. So we give back. Well, you can definitely drive through with your friends, but you cannot get out of your vehicle during the drive. All right, so we'll, we'll get out halfway through, and hopefully something will come over and, and just take a bite out of us. Well, it's not that we're suicidal, it's that we just to want to, we want to give back to nature. If we think this is the best way, right? So if you drive through, part of your money does go to conservation. So through your drive-through ticket purchase, you would be helping support animals. Yes, we'll leave all of our, all of our money to the park. I, I will leave our bodies to the animals. They do what they want. Yes. Um, no, I don't think so. I, well, I think so. That's what we plan. So, we'll be there sometime in October. We haven't finalized the days yet, but... There should be a group of, oh, about 20 of us. We're all in our upper 80s. And we'll all, we'll all be quite happy that day, yes. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you in October. Oh, good. Yes. And the animals will eat well. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know. That's all. That's it, dear. Okay. Have a nice day. Yes, you as well. Oh.